Dear John, my great-grandfather on my mother's side was Belgian, which is probably why I've always enjoyed strong continental lager. But, despite my heritage, a night on the tramp juice always leads to a terrible hangover the following morning. Can you find out if there's anything I can do the night before to stop this happening? Thanks, Brian from Ipswich. Well, Brian, I suppose just not drinking in the first place is out of the question. But leave it to me, I'll do my best. <coughs> Hangovers. Now, a hangover is just a combination of several symptoms. Splitting headache, sore throat, chap lips. But they all basically share one thing in common, and that's dehydration. So, whatever I try and do to prevent the hangover, it's got to beat dehydration. I'm going to be comparing three different ways of beating a hangover, using some well-known preventative measures used before, during and after a drinking session. Obviously, this means that I'll be needing three different drinking sessions over three different nights, which is quite a lot of drinking. Oh, well. Tonight, I'm going to attempt to beat the hangover by consuming these before I even start drinking. It's a pint of milk and a kebab. The greasy lining should, in theory, reduce alcohol absorption into my bloodstream, therefore making me less drunk and less likely to get a hangover. To be on the safe side, I'll wash it down with milk for added stomach lining effect. It's all a bit weird, really. One way round. Should be going home and having a kip now, not setting down to five pints of strong lager. Nah. For scientific purposes, I'm going to drink the same amount of alcohol every night. Tonight, that's a hangover-inducing five pints of strong continental lager. It's an interesting experiment, though, and I'm going to enjoy it. Good health, gentlemen. When you have a drink, toxins work their way into the bloodstream, and these have to be broken down by the liver and kidneys. To do this requires water, which the liver and kidneys get by raiding the body's own fluid supplies. On top of this, alcohol is a diuretic, which is just a posh word for saying that it makes you wee a lot. Nice meeting you. Now remember, I'm doing all this drinking strictly in the name of science. Don't you be doing it. Drinking in large quantities is not big and not clever. So just don't. That's me well and truly sozzled. I'm off home to bed to see what the morning brings. Worse hangovers. It's fair to say I felt better in the morning. My mouth is dry, got a real headache going, and what makes it all worse is I can still taste last night's kebab. Overall, then, I think I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10 of a hangover. So, kebabs and milk, a very poor preventative, leaving a whopping 8 of a hangover, along with a particularly unpleasant aftertaste. Now, where was I? Tonight, I'll be attempting to beat the hangover whilst I'm drinking. Now, last night, I drank five pints of strong continental lager, whereas tonight, I'll be drinking weak Australian lager. Now, normally, I wouldn't do this, but it is for science. The thing is, to get the same amount of alcohol, I'll be drinking six pints instead of five. Cheers. By having the same amount of alcohol, but drinking an extra pint, I am, in effect, drinking an extra pint of water, which hopefully will stop me feeling dehydrated tomorrow morning. Well, that's the theory. I do feel better than yesterday. You don't get me wrong, I feel rotten, but the headache's manageable, and at least I can't taste any kebab. Overall, then, I'm ranking this hangover as a healthy but acceptable 6 out of 10. So, weak lager is a success, scoring just 6 on the hangover scale, a full 2 points weaker than yesterday's effort. Just one more night of drinking to go. 
it's the final night of drinking, and thank goodness I'm back on the strong continental lager. Tonight's preventative involves these, a pint of water and a couple of paracetamol. But these won't happen until just before I go to bed. So in the meantime, I've got to down five of these. Cheers. No, oh, you know what happens next. home. But before I lay in the tender arms of sweet lady sleep, there's a certain painkiller and a pint of water to attend to. Craggy, we'll see you tomorrow. You know what? I think it worked. I actually feel OK. This hangover barely registers, so I'm scoring it no more than two out of ten. I'm going to get some breakfast. So there you go, Brian. Clearly, the answer to all your troubles is a painkiller and a pint of water. Then you'll be fighting fit to face the world. Happy drinking!